Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the food experience. Today's experience, I got a new toy. I got this rotisserie basket that I ordered off of Amazon and I'm going to use it in the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven. I have the grill edition, but the regular version will work fine too. So what I'm going to do is load this up with some drumsticks. Yeah, you know, chicken legs and we're gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna cook them at a low temperature around 300 degrees, but first we're gonna season them up. Let's get down to it. Before we do anything, it's time to preheat the max. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it in air fry mode, set a bunch of extra time so I could prepare the chicken, doesn't really matter how much. And I'm gonna be cooking the chicken today at 300 degrees and start her up. I purchased these chicken drumsticks from Walmart yesterday. Not too bad, $5.46 for 14 drumsticks. Not sure if they're all going to fit, but I'm going to try to go for six of them. I went ahead and put together a spice blend right here. I basically used the exact same spices that I used in the KFC copycat video, but I did not use the uh, flour because there's no need to do that for this. But I will link back to mashed where I got the seasoning blend. Go ahead and apply the seasoning just like you would a rub. Do a little pat. And get the other side as well. And I'll do the remaining ones off camera. All right, that's looking pretty groovy. What's cool about this basket is it has screws that come with the basket. Not all rotisserie baskets have that. And it doesn't require a rod to go all the way through. So they just provide these little short pieces. And I've already gone ahead and adjusted them. They did need a little bit of adjusting. And then it has a lid that goes on top that fits within the grooves. You could kind of adjust it to whatever level you want. These are rather big legs, so I imagine they're going to probably require the full height. But let's go ahead and insert them. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to fit six in here. This is, um, or these are rather big legs, you could say. Yeah, it looks like five. Five is all I'm going to be able to fit inside of here. So we'll go with five. So let's see about putting the top on. I believe these two things go in first. So we're going to put them right in like that and then go ahead and push down. There we go. Looks like it's going to hold them nice and snug. The Max has completed its preheat. If you notice, I have the black drip pan installed at the very lowest position. There we go. Put it in. I'm going to turn on the light and hit the rotisserie button. And away they go. Now, I've never cooked drumsticks before. I did some looking up times and temperatures, and I'm going to go ahead and check them after 20 minutes. All right, time's up. I actually let them go for a half hour instead of, uh, I think I said 20 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and remove them. Time to hit them with an instant read thermometer. Wow, they're definitely more than done. So let me go ahead and flip this over and see if I can remove the top. It's going to be tough. I have these gloves on. There we go. Not too bad. So yeah, let's go back up top and sample them with each other. Welcome back everybody. I got two of the legs out right now. Let's go ahead and give one a try, yeah? Huh. Wow, they're still hot. Way hot. I'm actually surprised they're so juicy with how hot I cooked them to. I think I'm going to let them cool off for just another minute. Um, they are super hot. I think I'll let them cool off. Maybe I'll um, dip this one in some barbecue sauce. See how that is. Oh, that's good. First time trying this barbecue sauce. I got this Stubbs Spicy. Saw it at Walmart. I'm like, huh, I've seen that sauce being posted, and why not give it a try, right? Pretty dang good. 
not really spicy, but it's definitely good. I don't know if I could show you how juicy these are, but I'm going to try. Hopefully that's coming through in the camera okay. They're definitely really hot to eat still. I waited another couple of minutes. Man. They sure are delicious and tasty though. So I would say it's definitely a win for that wire rotisserie basket that I got off of Amazon. I think I could probably cook a steak in there, uh, maybe a chicken breast. Um, I could see a lot of different applications. So I think that just about does it. I'm going to buzz out of here, but if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop me a line below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you're interested in buying this wire basket, I'll provide the link in the description down below of where I purchased it off of Amazon. There are small and large versions available. Make sure to choose the small version so that it fits in your Max or any other small uh, countertop style oven that has a rotisserie. And with that said, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And remember me, I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care and I'll see you next time.